Most people will agree that the drill down feature in XMind is really, really cool. If you're not sure what it is, here it is. I'm going to go in here and I can take this as opposed to having XMind Pro as my focal point. I can make this new topic my focal point by pressing F6 or by using the keys to drill down on the menu. And now you can see I've made this my main focal point of something that I'm working on right now. That's great, especially with the large maps, so you can focus in on something and get really, really clear. Now once we've drilled down, it actually embeds a little drill up link so we can go back to where we started. Wouldn't it be cool if we could embed a drill down link somehow? Well, hey, you know what? You can. And it's really simple. And here's the reason why. Generally, when you're looking at these nodes, you'll see that I, from XMind Pro, I can see everything that radiates out from there. I go to get XMind Pro, I can see everything that comes down from there and, and so on down the line. But when there are floating topics, they don't show in the main map. And that's the little trick we're going to use. So I'm going to hit in here. I'm going to hit, I'll hit F6 just to get in. And now all I need to do is, I'm going to double click and create a floating topic. It could be anything. You could even almost leave it blank. There we go. And now when I go back up, we're going to see a little drill down link. Now, if you think about it, there's a ton of great uses you can have for this. One is just simplicity. People who are unfamiliar with what they're doing, you can say, hey, go ahead and click on that green arrow as opposed to saying hit F6 or go to the menu or whatever else they're talking about. It's just a neat feature. And also, even if you're just presenting, it's nice to have the drill down feature right at your fingertips instead of having to go all over the place and click it later on. I'm sure if you put your mind to it, you can think of a ton of uses for doing this. There we go, down, up, down, up, and very, very simple to use. Go ahead and check it out. Try it. Let me know what you think. Feel free to leave me a comment. If you found this video useful, get the cheat sheet. It's an XMind workbook filled with tutorials, videos, and links, and all sorts of cool stuff. Imagine that. Using XMind to help you use XMind. You can get it by following the link below. All I ask in exchange is that you give my newsletter a chance. Thanks for watching.